Hi, my dear brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm here to report about a vision that God had given me last month about the condition of his servants and the weight of everyone who just trusts on any servant of God, no matter whether he comes from the devil or he comes from God. And that is the danger. We are coming to discuss about it. As I was praying, I found myself in a field. This field in this field, there was a tank that had been uh, held up in, in some, like, that was laid with posts, like five meters. Those posts were made of uh, cyclers. And as I was uh, looking at that, uh, staring at that tank, due to the weight of the tank, the post could not hold on the weight of that water. Because the post had de decayed at the uh, foundation. And then the, the, then the water trooped, and the, 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 the water that was uh, in the plastic, the plastic, the plastic tank, crumbled down into pieces and the water spilled and even the post broke up broke into pieces this is the interpretation of that dream the posts are the some the men of god who hold who hold on who, who hold the faith of many uh, people but so many people have put their trust in the so called men of god without even asking God a question, does this servant come from you? Is this servant come, come from you? There are even people who attend the church just because of the mere fact that the, that church is near to their house. There are people who just attend the church because that man is handsome. That woman who lead that church is beautiful. But, that, but that, let me tell you one thing. That is the work of the fresh. The water represents the faith of so many believers who are who after discovering that the servants who preach among them or who preach the, uh, or, uh, who preach to them the servants of uh, the, the so-called men of God prayer, uh, apostles prophets evangelists pastors their foundation was built on a quick sand. They, they, they didn't have Jesus as they prophesied pro, professed with his mouth. It was just the work of honoring God with their lips, but their hearts had distanced himself, they, themselves with the Lord. Then they would crumble and give up because of the betrayal, because of they could not withstand the betrayal, they could not withstand the disappointment and the 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 and brief that this puzzle that this called so man of God was using demons. He is only doing uh, theatricals. There are so many men of God who are who are in in even in prosperity gospel. Prosperity gospel e day in day out, January up to December, but they have got nothing to do. They have got nothing to do. with the people of God. This is the danger. This is the danger. If now they have got nothing to do with, the, with, with what God called upon them, why do you really have to follow them because they are not anointed and they are not anointed? Some of us are lost because of putting our trust to where it does not belong. We should trust God, not, uh, not put your trust in men. Reason, people. The fact that you, 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 you have been betrayed, the fact that you have given up, you feel disappointed, disappointed. some problems are misfortune of our own making. And this is why, what I'm advising you. From now henceforth, pray and ask God to show you the place where you congregate, whether it's his light to press, and if it is not, ask him where you shall go.
to congregate, where you shall go to assemble uh, in, his, in his assemblies. The correct, the church, the Bible believing church. Remember, being a Christian is not only being a hearer of the word, but the doer of the word. Do you get it? So that is what I'm asking you. Kaidri, stop, uh, stop uh, preserving your or infusing trust in a man of God, in a mere human, in a mortal human. Infuse your trust on Jesus. This is why so many people are, their faith is crumbling down like that tank that had to fall because the supporting poles, which are the servants of God, they are, they are not there to hold you. They are there because of your wallet. They are there because of your pocket money. They are there because of what you give me. They, uh, you give them. They are there because they are there because of uh, because of receiving. They are there because it's business. Stop excusing yourselves the, uh, from from trusting God. Learn not to lead yourself. Don't lead yourself into the church. I have stayed from January. This January up to this. This is uh, up to Ju uh, up to June. Praying to God, give me a church. And finally, he, he gave me a church that is very very far away from this church, uh, from from his church, from from the, the rest of the church. Because there is a less, uh, there is a church in uh, in in like ten meters from where I am to, uh, speaking from. There is also a church up there. There is also a church which is so big there, in, in, even in town. There is, it's so big. There are so many here. But he directed me to go where even I'd have to take a vehicle, pay for the fare, and go away. I pay a uh, hundred bob. So that is how God works with if you ask him to lead you other than asking you other than leading yourself and starting uh, giving up and disappointing uh, yourself with an unexpected please learn to lean on the, the on the will of god not on the will of not on your will thank you